Hi everyone, welcome to today's midweek moment. It comes from John 14 verses 27. It says the following, it says, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give you, not as the world gives do I give. Let not your hearts be troubled, neither let them be afraid. Absolutely wonderful words by Jesus there. Uh, but what does he mean by peace? Well, I think biblical peace has at least three dimensions to it. The first is a vertical dimension, peace with God. And this is fundamental to peace as a whole. Uh, throughout scripture, we see this in the Old Testament, talking about the coming Messiah, he, they call him the Prince of Peace, Isaiah 9 verse 6. It talks about in Numbers 6 verse 26, uh, it talks about peace being synonymous to the face of God turning toward us. And again, we see that God makes an eternal covenant of peace with his people. In the New Testament, we see that Paul talks about the fact that those who have being justified by faith in Jesus are right with God and have peace with him. Romans 5 verses 1. This is idea of peace uh, with God is so fundamental in order for us to gain peace. Why? Well, because this is God's world. This is his universe. And if we uh, do not uh, have peace with God, all other forms of peace seem to lose their value and don't ultimately fulfill us and give us what we're longing for. The second dimension is a horizontal idea of peace. It's been having peace with others. Just as there was a need for peace with God because of sin, so there is a need with peace with others because of sin. But fortunately for us, Jesus offers a solution to both, uh, giving us peace with God and people. We see Paul explains this in the book of Ephesians quite wonderfully when he talks about the hostility between the Jews and the Gentiles and there's been this great divide but because of the death and resurrection of Jesus he breaks down this great divide and instead of in two parties against each other he creates one new humanity and it says in Ephesians 2 verse 15 thus making peace. So Jesus reconciles the Jew, he reconciles Reconciles the Gentile, and in doing so, he puts to death the mutual hostility. The third dimension, and I think this is what the passage is speaking about here this morning, is he talks about an inward peace, uh, a personal uh, peace, um, and uh, and this personal sin uh, sincerity here is not one that is achieved by avoiding trouble, but rather it is based on a faith that transcends those trials and trouble. And Paul appeals to this principle of faith in uh, Philippians 4 um, verse 6 when he, he, he appeals to, to, the, um, to the chronic warrior and, and person who gets anxious and says, man, take those anxieties and worries and lay them at the feet of God and pray to him with thanksgiving. And in that you will find this inward peace that we desperately need and long for. Though we have spoken about this morning three dimensions of peace, I must say, and I cannot stress enough, that this is one idea of peace. As we spoke about three elements, this is a holistic thing. You cannot gain this peace by choosing two of these elements and not the other. You cannot go, well, I want to be right with God and have peace with Him and I want to have peace within me, but I really don't like that person, so I'm not pursuing that. If we do that, we forfeit this ultimate peace that Jesus wants to give us. We cannot pursue being right with others and being right with ourselves, but not right and have this peace with God that then if we do so, we forfeit again this peace that Jesus is speaking about here. These three dimensions are inseparable. We cannot uh, take them apart. And primarily because what holds them and ties them together is the issue of sin. It is sin that has made us hostile towards God. It is sin that's made us hostile towards others. It's sin that causes us to lack peace within ourselves. And we have to deal with sin as a whole, not in bits and parts in order to gain this peace. But fortunately for us, Jesus offers the solution. Jesus, through Jesus' death and through his resurrection, we have sin removed. It is through Jesus that this hostile relationship that we had between us and God is removed. He's no longer our enemy, but he's our, he is our father. It is through Jesus that we can have peace with others, that they were once our enemies, but now he has drawn us in. He makes us one. He makes us a family. He makes us a body. He makes us a church. 
and now there is a peace that is with us. There is through Jesus that we find an inward peace, that all those sins that break us down, our past that we regret, have been forgotten and forgiven through Jesus Christ. And it is in Jesus that we find a new identity. And as a result, I'm not so-and-so who did those things or messed up here or unable to achieve this or that, but rather I am a son or a daughter of the living God. It is in through Christ, through his death and through his resurrection that we gain this peace. If you want this peace, you have to go to him. Jesus says you cannot find this anywhere else. Not as the world gives, do I give. It is only through Jesus that we gain this peace. So run to him, look to him, cling on to him, and let him do the work in your heart, and you will gain this peace. Cheers, everyone.